Hello, I am Larry Catalano. I am the assistant superintendent here in Roanoke Rapids. And one of my favorite things to do when I was a teacher was to read to students. Um, students, as you know, we are not in school right now. And I would encourage you to continue reading, um, read to your brothers and sisters, parents. I would encourage you to read to all of your children, no matter what the age is. Everybody likes to be read to. Even now when I'm in the car, our family will read to each other. So any opportunity that you get, read, read, read. As I used to say when I was a principal, it's a great day to read a book. And I truly believe that every day is a great day to read a book. So today I'm going to read you uh, a story. It's from my favorite author. His name is Robert Munch. Uh, I have been reading his stories for a long time. Um, this is my favorite book in the whole wide world. It contains 15 Robert Munch stories. And the one that I'm going to read today is one of my favorites. It is called Stephanie's Ponytail. And you never know, some of you out there, I may have taught your parents and they may know, actually know this story. So let's begin. Stephanie's Ponytail by Robert Munch, illustrated by Michael Marchenko. One day, Stephanie went to her mom and said, None of the kids in my class have a ponytail. I want a nice ponytail coming right out the back. So Stephanie's mom gave her a nice ponytail coming right out the back. When Stephanie went to school, the other kids looked at her and said, Ugly, ugly, very ugly. Stephanie said, It's my ponytail and I like it. The next morning, when Stephanie went to school, all the other kids had ponytails coming out the back. Stephanie looked at them and said, You are all a bunch of copycats. You just do whatever I do. You don't have a brain in your heads. The next morning, the mom said, Stephanie, would you like a ponytail coming out the back? Stephanie said, N No. Then that's that, said her mom. That's the only place you can do ponytails. No, it's not, said Stephanie. I want one coming out the side just above my ear. Very strange, said her mom. Are you sure that is what you want? Mm, yes, said Stephanie. So her mom gave Stephanie a nice ponytail coming out right above her ear. When she went to school, the other kids saw her and said, ugly, ugly, very ugly. Stephanie said, it's my ponytail and I like it. The next morning, when Stephanie came to school, the other girls, and even some of the boys, had nice ponytails coming out just above their ears. The next morning, the mom said, Stephanie, would you like a ponytail coming out the back? Stephanie said, no. Would you like one coming out the side? No. Then that's that, said her mom. There is no other place you can do ponytails. Yes, there is, said Stephanie. I want one coming out the top of my head like a tree. That's very, very strange, said her mom. Are you sure that is what you want? Yes, said Stephanie. So her mom gave Stephanie a nice ponytail coming out the top of her head like a tree. When Stephanie went to school, the other kids saw her and said, ugly, ugly, very ugly. Stephanie said, it's my ponytail and I like it. The next day, all the girls and all the boys had ponytails coming out the top. It looked like broccoli was growing out of their heads. The next morning, the mom said, Would you like a ponytail coming out the back? Stephanie said, mm, No. Would you like one coming out the side? Mm, no. Would you like one coming out the top? Mm, no. Then that is definitely that, said the mom. There is no other place you can do ponytails. Yes, there is, said Stephanie. I want one coming out the front and hanging down in front of my nose. But nobody will know if you are coming or going, her mom said. Are you sure that's what you want? Yes, said Stephanie. So her mom gave Stephanie a nice ponytail coming out the front. On the way to school, she bumped into four trees, three cars, two houses, 
and one principal. When she finally got to her class, the other kids saw her and said, ugly, ugly. Stephanie said, it's my ponytail and I like it. The next day, all of the girls and all of the boys and even the teacher had ponytails coming out the front and hanging down in front of their noses. None of them could see where they were going. They bumped into desks, they bumped into each other, they bumped into walls, and by mistake, three girls went into the boys' bathroom. Stephanie yelled, you are all a bunch of brainless copycats. You just do whatever I do. When I come tomorrow, I'm going to have shaved my head. The first person to come the next day was a teacher. She had shaved her head and she was bald. The next to come were the boys. They had shaved their heads and they were bald. The next to come were the girls. They had shaved their heads and they were bald. The last person to come was Stephanie and she had a nice little ponytail coming right out the back. And that is the end of our story. That is Stephanie's Ponytail by Robert Munch. I hope you enjoyed our story. And if you get a chance, check out this book for yourself because the illustrations are absolutely fantastic. Um, pay special attention to some of the animals in the pictures. I think you uh, may ple be pleasantly surprised. I hope everybody has a great day. Stay, uh, stay safe, stay strong, and we hopefully will see you all very soon. Thank you.